Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to add color to a polygon mesh. I'm going to use the polygon mesh we've created before. If you would like to learn how to do it, please check out my previous tutorial. I've included a link to it in the description below. We will use the lines only. Turn off the visibility of the dots layer and lock it. Let's zoom out. The mesh we've created consists of many open paths and we can't select an individual polygon. In order to do this, first we need to create a live paint group. Let's select everything, then go to Object, Live Paint and choose Make. Now either press the letter K for the live paint bucket or select it from the toolbar panel. It is hidden under the Shape Builder tool. When you hover your mouse over the mesh, each polygon is highlighted and ready to be filled with color. Let's select a color from this group, for example. You will notice that the Live Paint Bucket Tool Pointer appears as three color swatches, the selected fill in the middle and the color directly to the left and right of it in the swatches panel. Now click on any of the polygons to fill it with the selected color. Next, you could either go and select the next color in this color group from the swatches window and apply it to the next polygon, or you can do the same by using the arrow keys on your keyboard. The right arrow key will select the next color to the right in the color group and the left arrow will select the color to the left. Let's apply this dark brown to some of the polygons. Now press the arrow key to select next color. And keep filling up all the polygons. You can also click, hold and drag across many polygons to apply the same color at once. If you need to move any of the anchor points, first select the lasso tool, draw a line around the area you want to modify, then switch to the direct selection tool, click on the anchor point, hold and drag to reposition it. Let's say we want to split this polygon in half. To do this, first select the Add Anchor Point tool and click on this path to add an anchor point. Now switch to the Pen tool and while you are holding down the Shift key, click on this anchor point and then release the Shift key. Make sure all the Snap options are turned off. Now click on this anchor point to finish the path. Next select everything and then go to the Live Paint Bucket tool. You might notice that we are unable to select the new polygon. To make it possible, go to Object, Live Paint and select Merge. Now both parts are selectable and we can apply a different color. If we decide to delete any of the paths, we can still do it. First press the letter C for the scissors tool or select it from the toolbar panel and then click on any path you wish to delete. When you cut a path, Illustrator creates two new anchor points on top of each other. Now switch to the direct selection tool, click on the top anchor point and press the delete key on your keyboard. And delete the other anchor point as well. I'm going to undo it. And of course you can change colors of your artwork. First make sure everything is selected. Then select the recolor artwork from the top bar. Here you can randomly change the color order or edit active colors. 
For example, link harmony colors, adjust brightness, change color, or use one of your preset groups. If you don't like the stroke lines, first select everything and then set the stroke to none. To create a background, make a new layer, swap the fill and the stroke, draw a rectangle to cover the artboard, next select everything and press the Ctrl and number 7 keys on your keyboard to clip the outside area. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.